the Christmas Eve pancreas. My niece lives in England. We were talking on WhatsApp about her health, and I was trying to explain how the pancreas works. She used to work at H&M, so I asked her, what's your busiest day? She said, Christmas Eve. Perfect. Okay, I told her, that's your pancreas. Imagine it's Christmas Eve, the store's two stories, the escalators jammed, customers everywhere, but on the schedule, only two people working, just you and one other person holding it down. Somehow, you still make the sales, the registers balance, and if we only looked at the receipts, everything looks great. But if we played back the security video later, we'd see you two running around like maniacs, hanging on by a thread. That's your pancreas at 20% function. It's still getting the job done, blood sugar looks normal, and everyone thinks, hey, business as usual. But the oral glucose tolerance test, that's the video replay. That's where we finally see the chaos behind the curtain. The A1C, that's just the receipts, totals. No emotion, no struggle. And I swear I could feel her light bulb turn on through that WhatsApp call, half a world away. Moments like that remind me why I'm here. I don't have kids, a spouse, or parents anymore. My siblings have their own families, but my nieces and nephews still call. They still need someone steady, someone who can take something complicated and make it make sense. That's me. I don't just look like I have it together. I do. I stay calm under pressure. And even when I forget that I'm going to be okay, when I forget that I'm in God's hands, I don't let them see me sweat. And a gentle reminder, crying is not the same thing as letting others see you sweat. Emotions are God-given and God-designed. 